Today, we are launching AI Bots, a no-code approach to building powerful AI bots for any use case using OpenAI and Google Cloud. The best part is we have done all the boring work for you. You can simply start with Roe's backend template, pick the bot that is closest to your use case, and add your OpenAI key, and you should be good to go. But that's not all. You can actually tweak and extend this template any way you like, even at code level, to build a bot specifically the way you want it. Maybe you're building a travel itinerary app or an app that tells bedtime story to kids on demand on WhatsApp with audio messages. Or maybe you're building a business support WhatsApp bot for your company with a limited set of knowledge base that you want to answer from. The possibilities of what you can do are endless. All right, without further delay, let's see it in action. First on Roy, create a table from any of the template. Let's pick general WhatsApp chat GPT-1. Follow the steps to create a table where your data will be stored. Second, supply your own API key as well as the Twilio account as we will be using it for sending WhatsApp messages. Third, deploy cloud functions. Roy gives you pre-built automation code that listens for WhatsApp messages, gets the answer from ChatGPT, and replies to the WhatsApp message. Okay, so now you're almost set up with the WhatsApp bot. You just need to do one final step to hook up the webhook URL from here to WhatsApp account on Twilio. You can find complete details of this on the side information panel on your table. Finally, you're ready to now test your WhatsApp bot. Let's send a message to your WhatsApp sender number that you set up. Let's say, when was Apple founded? You can immediately see on the ROI table the incoming message as your Twilio webhook is listening for messages from your WhatsApp number. Now, this table has a derivative column, which is a programmable column that makes an API call to OpenAI to get the response for this question. As you can see, it gives an answer. Now, this answer is sent back as a response to the sender's WhatsApp message because we have two extensions here, one for immediately replying AI is thinking when a new row is created on this table, second, for sending the actual reply from OpenAI to answer the WhatsApp question. Now, if we send another message, say, how about Microsoft? The chat history is actually parsed as part of your message on OpenAI call, as you can see here in the derivative, where the last five messages are queried and replied with. So OpenAI has the context and simply replies the founding date of Microsoft. You can even reply simply Google and it's able to answer. So it's as simple as that. By simply cloning this template, you get an end-to-end -end working WhatsApp AI chatbot. Now, Obviously, you can tweak this logic of the AI replies and the prompt by changing the logic here in the derivative column, and you will be able to build any bot for specifically your use case. We have a lot of examples of prompts in the demo apps. So, for example, if you want to limit the replies to just travel planning or bedtime stories, or even have audio response using text to speech API like Play HT or generate images using stable diffusion. You can do all of that and reply to your WhatsApp bot this way. Simply start with a template, tweak it as you like, and you should be good to go. Oh, by the way, this data is stored on a database like Firestore, and the functions are deployed to your own Google Cloud. So this is a fully scalable and powerful backend that you are able to work with in a no-code style. And you can also access this data readily in your front-end apps that you are building. Hope you enjoyed this. Let us know in the comments what you're building with Roy and what you would like to see next.